where the problem is. Them lines are so slack that uh, in the wind they slap together and trip the fuses. So I just hooked up a new uh, ground cable, um, guide cable, and we're going to pull this thing back. The cable was broke at the bottom, so that may take up some of the slack. I set a pork chop on one end and a sling on the other. And with the come along, I pull it together, then I can take it apart, cut it, and pickle it. That will tighten up the line. Look good. it in there and it locks in. You can probably see that we tightened up the outside too on the other on the right. Um, there's quite a bit of difference there. See that they're tightened up now. I'm done up here. What we 
got here is a cross arm that got burnt. Um, this wire going over the top there at one point. It um, doesn't have a pull top pin in it. So the wire must have laid down and that set things on fire. So we're going to replace this cross arm. doing this just so that the, this line doesn't pull the bolt out of the center of that. If I just turned it loose, it would pull it out. The whole line would come down. There, that should keep that from happening. Got the thing on hook now, I just gotta get it loose from the pole. Probably gonna cut it with a sawzall, take it out in two pieces. Wind blowing it right in my face.
cross arm on there. That's a fuse holder with the fuse in it. That was the problem. It didn't have that insulator on top and that wire dropped down. It used to be a different wire, I'm sure, and it burnt the top of that cross arm. So I guess we're done here. Putting the fuses in with a hot stick. It's windy, it's not going to be an easy thing. There's one. Got it. 